The most powerful rocket ever built achieved something remarkable today. Starship is being developed by SpaceX. A test flight has shown that the rocket can be returned to Earth and landed precisely in the same spot as its launch. Elon Musk just made a bold declaration that has energized the drive for space exploration. Since last year, Musk has been steadily working on inventing and testing SpaceX's Starship, which he believes will help to establish human settlement on Mars. Well, after four failed attempts with millions of dollars spent on improving each of the crafts, Musk has finally made a surprising success with the craft's fifth launch. But what did he say? And what are the implications of this latest breakthrough for future space explorations? Let's find out. The Starship's fifth launch that rewrote history. A few days ago, netizens were taken aback by Elon Musk's sudden declaration on his social media platform, X, that we are about to make history as we are closer to making life multi-planetary. This came shortly after the fifth launch of SpaceX's Starship. To have a better grasp of why he was that excited, let's go back to how it began. As we all know, Elon Musk has been passionate about exploring the possibility of life on Mars for over two decades. His interest became serious, and around 2001, he came up with the idea of the Mars Oasis project. It was called Mars Oasis, where we would put a small robotic lander on the surface of Mars with seeds and dehydrated nutrient gel. A plan to send a small greenhouse to Mars to inspire public interest in space exploration. However, after facing difficulties with launching the project, Musk realized that the cost of rockets was a major barrier to Mars exploration. So, in 2002, he founded SpaceX with the long-term goal of making space travel affordable and eventually colonizing Mars. Musk has consistently said that humanity needs to become a multi-planetary species to ensure our survival. Over the years, SpaceX has developed reusable rockets like the Falcon 9 and is currently working on the Starship, a spacecraft Musk believes could carry people to Mars within the next decade or two. Four years after Elon Musk founded SpaceX, they launched their first solo flight. Though it failed, several more attempts were made until they finally achieved their first successful launch with Falcon 1 on September 28, 2008. Satisfied with the performance of the solo spaceships, they decided to conduct the first integrated flight of Starship and its super heavy booster to test the system's full capabilities and better understand how the two parts would perform together during future deep space missions. So after lots of preparations, their first integrated launch took place on April 20th, 2023. It gets interesting from here. The launch was highly anticipated as it was the first time both components would fly together. However, the mission faced significant challenges. Shortly after liftoff, the booster lost thrust vector control, leading to an uncontrolled spin before stage separation. The flight termination system was activated, resulting in the destruction of the vehicle about four minutes after launch. Despite this failure, SpaceX considered the mission successful in clearing the launch pad and gathering valuable data for future flights. Building on the lessons learned from the first flight, SpaceX launched Starship Flight 2 on November 18, 2023. This flight aimed to implement a new hot staging technique and included a water deluge system to protect the launch pad. Unfortunately, the mission failed when an engine failure occurred during ascent, leading to the loss of the booster. Although the upper stage managed to ascend for a while, it ultimately had to be destroyed due to a combustion event that interrupted communication with the flight computers. This setback highlighted the need for further improvements in engine reliability. So again, Musk went back to his drawing board. The third flight, conducted on March 14, 2024, aimed to demonstrate a full duration burn of the second stage engines and an internal propellant transfer demonstration. While the booster performed well, it was destroyed during the landing burn. The spacecraft reached a suborbital trajectory but lost telemetry during re-entry, leading SpaceX to conclude that it disintegrated before its planned splashdown. On June 6, 2024, SpaceX launched Starship Flight 4, which aimed to demonstrate controlled landings for both the booster and the spacecraft. This time, the mission was a success. The booster performed a controlled splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico, and the spacecraft successfully splashed down in the Indian Ocean, despite some damage to its forward flaps. This flight marked a turning point for SpaceX. After the fourth attempt, Musk and his team went back to their drawing board, 
made huge changes and were eager to show the world what they had come up with. After about 12,000 hours of tedious work by the engineers, the improvements were completed and the ship was set to embark on its mission. Musk was so excited that without delay, he placed the Starship on top of an even bigger rocket booster called Super Heavy at their launch site in Texas and was ready to launch immediately at the slightest approval in September, as originally scheduled. He even took to X to express his joy. But just when SpaceX thought they were ready to go, the FAA, the organization in charge of giving launch approvals, played a fast one on them by shifting their original launch date to November. Even this November wasn't certain. This announcement was a numbing blow for Musk. Musk was so frustrated and didn't see why the FAA was stalling even when they had been ready to fly since August. They even went as far as calling out the FAA on X. Then the FAA finally spoke up. According to the FAA, the delay was because they had to run extra environmental reviews, things like how the water cooling system might affect the area, the noise the booster would make when it came back, and where some rocket parts might land in the Gulf of Mexico. But SpaceX felt like these checks were slowing things down too much. Everything snowballed into the FAA taking the case to Congress, where they claimed the delay was due to SpaceX's constant updates to its flight plans, which meant the launch licenses needed frequent changes. They also said that since SpaceX runs more launches than anyone else, most of the FAA's resources go toward their projects. As if that wasn't enough, the FAA fined SpaceX about $663,000 for breaking some rules during earlier launches by using unapproved new equipment but SpaceX said they had given the FAA plenty of notice and that even the changes didn't impact safety. No matter the cases Musk came up with as reasons for why his plea should be considered and the launch date reviewed, the case didn't seem to go in his favor. This got him so riled up that he again took to X accusing the FAA of unfairness and with statements that insinuated that the whole delay was because of his strong political affiliations. Long story short, after a lot of back and forth, things finally got settled. The FAA finished its reviews and gave SpaceX the green light to finally launch in October, as against the November they earlier aimed for. So without hesitation, Musk fixed the launch for October 13, 2024. On that day, Musk and his team of space engineers were gathered at SpaceX's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas, ready to make history. At exactly 7.25 a.m. Central Time, the massive Starship powered by its powerful super heavy booster, roared to life and blasted off into the sky, leaving a giant plume of smoke behind it. The mission had two primary objectives, to recover the super heavy booster using the launch tower's mechanical arms, known as chopsticks, and to send the Starship upper stage to space. With fingers crossed and anticipations high, everyone watched to see what would become of this space monster that Musk had put in so much sweat and blood to build. Then at approximately seven minutes after liftoff, the first major milestone was achieved. The super heavy booster separated from the Starship and began its return to Earth. Instead of crashing into the ocean like other rockets, it was caught mid-air by the chopstick arms of the launch tower. This was a historic moment and a significant achievement for the SpaceX team because it was the first time anyone had ever caught a returning rocket like this. While the booster was being caught, the Starship continued its journey into space. It flew halfway around the world before beginning its descent. After successfully re-entering the atmosphere, it splashed down safely in the Indian Ocean, just as planned. The engineers at SpaceX were thrilled because this showed that the new heat shields on the Starship worked perfectly. But why is there so much buzz about this launch? What significance does it have for space exploration in the future? What this launch means for the future of space exploration. The fifth flight launch of SpaceX's Starship marks a huge moment for the future of space exploration. This achievement has several important implications that could change the way we think about traveling to space. Apart from how this launch has made the dream of human exploration and settlement in mass feasible, one of the most exciting aspects is the progress in reusability. SpaceX made history with the successful catch of the Super Heavy Booster using mechanical arms on the launch tower. This is a groundbreaking step in making rockets reusable. By recovering the booster, SpaceX can quickly prepare it for another launch, which could potentially lower the cost of space travel by up to 10 times compared to traditional methods. Also, this flight is to support NASA's Artemis program, 
which is designed to return humans to the moon and offers an exciting glimpse into the specialized version of Starship that will land astronauts on the lunar surface. Another major implication is the potential for. With the ability to significantly lower launch costs, SpaceX could open up exciting new industries in space, like asteroid mining and manufacturing in orbit. Elon Musk has even mentioned the goal of bringing launch costs down to around $10 million per flight, which could completely transform the economics of space exploration. As costs decrease, more private companies may enter the space industry, sparking innovation and competition in developing new space technologies. And oh, lest we forget, plans have already begun for the sixth launch. It's a fantastic time to dream about what the future holds in space exploration. Who knows what amazing things we'll see next? What are your expectations of the upcoming sixth launch? Kindly let us know in the comments. And if you liked this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Also, click the next video on your screen to enjoy more exciting content.